Well, hey friends, happy day. It is Saturday for me. I'm not sure when you'll watch this, maybe Monday. We'll see. Um, but, whoo, my house is a disaster. And I've been thinking all day about whether or not I want to even share this on YouTube because, first of all, people can be really cruel and awful and nasty. So this is my really real life kind of um, mess. If you caught my last vlog, you know that my husband is going away for the summer to work. Uh, he leaves in just a couple days. He's actually not here today. He's in southern Ontario. He's not here right now. The house is in complete upheaval, y'all. Like, <laughs> I love my dear sweet husband, but before he ever goes away or before, like, something big happens, he goes on, like, cleaning sprees. And all of the things that had been left undone, he starts to do. So first of all, he decided he needed to go through all of his clothes, all of his hats, and see what fits, what doesn't fit, what, you know, just needs donated, what needs tossed. Um, he started working out, and he's lost a lot of weight. He was a small guy anyways, but he's lost a lot of weight. He's, like, turning into a bit of a bodybuilder. Um... So he got rid of a ton of clothes, and they're all sitting in the hallway um, because my donation bin that I have is actually overflowing, um, and we just took donations to the um, thrift store just like two weeks ago. So anyways, yay for getting rid of stuff. So I've got to deal with that huge pile of clothes. I don't know if we'll go do that today or maybe tomorrow or Monday I'm not really sure but I gotta figure that out we are doing all of his laundry um, because he's leaving and so we've got to pack up all of his clothes so everything that's dirty needs washed we had a bit of an accident here in the living room yesterday so one of our dogs um, she's having a problem with her paw pads Jean has been um, soaking her feet uh, in Epsom salts and putting on like a product called Mushers that helps with cracked pads and stuff. And so he did that in the living room last night and she knocked the bucket of Epsom salt water all over. Um, and it's like soaked our carpet. We just have a rug um, and it just like went like all under the couch, all over. It was terrible. So um, the rug is drying, the living room's a bit of a mess, it's not too bad, I just need to straighten some things. I'll show you all this. Um, and then I've got tons and tons of laundry to fold. And then the other project that he started to do was to go, okay, hold on. I am terrible at um, organizing paperwork. Awful. I can organize things, I can organize people, I can organize time and dates and like stuff like that but I cannot organize paper it's a big thing that I'm not good at so um, we just tend to pile the papers and deal with them later well later was yesterday and my kitchen was covered in paperwork and we recycled a ton of it some of it needs shredded some of it I don't even I don't even know what it's what it's doing. Um, Shane said that he's put all of the important stuff away and anyways so I've got paperwork all over my kitchen as well. So I'm going to share with you my nightmare. I'm just going to be real here. Um, I live a very real life. I am I'm, I'm just I am not putting on any kind of airs here. My house is not always spotless. Lord, I wish it was, but it's not. Um, and we just have a disaster. So I'm going to show you it. Maybe I'll make you feel better about your own life. <laughs> um, give you some comfort uh, if you have a mess going on too. And then I'm just going to kind of work through things today. So I'm going to flip you around and, and share with you. <laughs> okay, so this is the love seat. I just need to straighten up the blankets. Um, I was editing a grocery haul today. Um, this little sign over here is crooked. So the coffee table got moved last night because of the water. So you can see it kind of right here. The carpet is drying. I hope it hope it dries okay and like it doesn't get stinky or anything like that. Um, some dirty dishes that I need to take and go wash. Um, just need to straighten up some things. This is laundry that needs folded. This little basket over here. I keep leaving it out because I want... It's my nail basket like with nail polish and I want to do my nails but I just... I haven't had a chance so I keep leaving it there hoping that I will take care of it but I don't um, and then here is more stuff that needs straight 
Okay, so here's dirty clothes. Those need to be taken to the wash. I've got the laundry going right now, so yes. Ugh. And then, um, so here, this is the pile of clothes that needs donated. And this little bag right here, that's all donation as well. Same with this little white cube. So all of this is donation and needs to get out of my house. The bathroom, um, there's clothes in here that need to be washed. And my husband has all of his, um, some of his toiletries and things out on the vanity um, to remember to take. My room is a disaster. I haven't made my bed. Whoa, look at that nasty mess. Oh my gosh, y'all. Um, I haven't made my bed because I need to change the sheets, so no sense in doing that. Um, more laundry that needs done and this pile of mess on this table. Um, things that he's taking. Those are some clothes, just a nightgown that I think I might get rid of. I'm not sure. Um, and then the kids brought some stuffies in and the fan because I can't sleep without it. But um, yeah, so that's a night, a, a bit of a nightmare. So this is Colt's room. This isn't too bad. Um, we'll just, we tidy it up before bedtime. All the toys get put away. So that's okay. And then coming down the hall, this is the major disaster area, I feel like. Okay, so these are new pants. Um, I showed them in a haul. Funny thing is, he has returned and bought these pants now three times. He has two pairs that he absolutely loves. Same brand, same size, and everything. But one pair of pants is shorter than the other. And so he keeps trying to get the longer pair. Um, we held them up to one another and... I don't know. It's it's so bizarre. So, anyways, what, he's gonna take it back to Costco, and this is a coat of his um, paperwork and oh my goodness, um, bikes, bikes. Yes, I have bikes in my little entrance area here. Um, these need to go into the garage, um, but yeah. <laughs> and then these are the things he is taking um, to work with him the new dog food and right here this disaster these are clothes that I tried to consign and they didn't take them and these are like really great clothes sometimes they just have too much of something to be able to take so what I'm going to do is go through these bags and figure out what I want to keep and try and reconsign it another point and what I want to donate so um, I know there's some things in there that I I just think are so cute and I just wish I had a little girl to give them to um, like little dresses and things they are just adorable, but I don't. <laughs> so, um, kiddo shoes, helmets, books. <sighs> this is a mess. Lists and everything. The homeschool room. Disaster. We're not even attempting that until this upcoming week. There's Gatorade on the floor. So, yes. And here, this is the other disaster area. I mean, the whole house. What am I talking about? More paperwork. I have the broom out. The floor is a mess. Um, I'm not going to show totally over here because this is just a pile of paperwork right, right over here. But just in case there's anything sensitive. This is where the paperwork all came out of um, in our command center. And I just pulled these things out. I'm going to cut up the cantaloupe and put the new eggs into the egg holder. So we buy our eggs from Costco like this, but um, this is really twaffy to pull in and out of the fridge. So we load most of the eggs in there, and then the extras we put into a, a, a dish and just put them into the fridge. So um, my camera and phone and dishes and things that have not, or groceries that have not been put away from our haul yesterday and more. This is my tea husband's taking this to um, work with him. I keep wanting to say school, but it's not school. I hard boiled some eggs. I need to wash all of this produce. I've been watching some YouTube. I was washing the dishes. Um, so that's that. And then laundry that's clean that needs folded right there. And then um, these are all of my husband's um, bodybuilding supplement things. Um, so this is all going to go with him. I'm going to move all of this into the dining area so I can reclaim my kitchen and then just some breakfast things that need put away so oh my gosh um, got my diffuser going and did I even show you this table yeah like look at this this is all recycling um, 
bananas, uh, Colt's helmet. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, crazy town. Um, thankfully, like we deep cleaned the kids' rooms the other day and got rid of a ton of stuff. Aubrey's, Aubrey's room is really, really clean. Colt's has toys out because he was playing earlier. They're both outside right now and they've been outside most of the day, which is so awesome. So I'm just going to kick on a little bit of YouTube and I'm going to work on getting my life in order. I think, I think so anyways. Okay, so here's where I'm at so far. Um, my goal is to get the kitchen cleaned up and then take a little bit of a break. So I still need to put all of this stuff away. Um, I've gone through the produce and I've cleaned it. So I use um, some drops of On Guard and Wild Orange, both from doTERRA. Um, and I add some drops into my sink and um, just let my fruit and veggies soak for a bit. So I've got all the dishes done, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain the sink. Um, it's coming, slowly but surely. I still need to go take that laundry into the living room to fold. Um, I've got this sort of cleared off, but we've got a ways to go. Okay, so here is where I am. I've basically got the counters cleared off. I've washed all my produce got all the dishes done. I ended up finishing my tea after I did the dishes, so um, that's in the sink. And I pour myself a nice tall glass of water, and that's one of the kiddos' water cups. Um, I got my diffuser going, and I've cleaned off the counter, um, put all the dishes away. I need to wash a bunch of towels. I still have loads and loads of laundry to do. And these two baskets, again, those are clean. I'm going to take them into the living room. I think I'll probably fold tonight. Um, no sense in wasting time on this beautiful day folding. I'll just do that tonight. Um, I got my produce all prepped and ready to go. And that is it for now. So I'm actually going to go and have a bit of a break. I don't know how long I worked, but it's been a while. At least an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, so I'm going to go relax for a little bit and maybe set a timer for 15, 20 minutes zone out, go drink some nice cold water, and then move on to the next thing. 
Okay, so I'm here in my linen closet, and I just started to come and get some of these overflow supplies out that Shane can take away with him. I want to make sure to pack up the soap. He's the only one that uses that, so I want to make sure that um, I pack that up for him. Just a bunch of different random products that he might need. Um, and then up here, I started to pull a few things out. Some of these things were things that I needed to put away in here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab everything and do that. Okay, so everything is back. I still need to get the soap. Um, I pulled out a set of sheets to change my bedding. I'll probably just do that before bed. I have got a whole bag here of products for Shane. Cole is cleaning up his trains. Aubrey is hanging out and we're going to have some supper. So I've talked about going more natural here on my channel um, several times and as you just saw in that last clip, I loaded up a bag of soap with a bag. I loaded up a bag with Irish Spring soap. This was stuff that my husband bought long before we kind of really started to make a switch in a lot of our products. And one of the things that I have said that we're trying to do is to baby step our way into this is just once we're done with a product, we will buy a natural alternative. Um, I am looking to probably just get um, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap um, in bar form, or um, doTERRA actually sells bar soap as well. So that that is what I will purchase for him going forward, um, but um, no sense in throwing all of this out into the landfill. He'll just use it, he loves it, he purchased it himself, um, but that's just one way that we're baby stepping through becoming a more natural family. Um, rather than throwing everything away and starting from scratch, um, we're just using up the chemical products that we have and then going with a more natural, more green alternative going forward. So here on the table I've got some piles started for Shane. So this is his list. He's got a few pages here of things he wants to get done. So I've just set his list here. And here are some of the um, just dry food goods that he is taking with him. I have not obviously pulled out any of the um, dairy products or any of the frozen things that he's going to be taking. So obviously, it's <laughs> obviously. So anyways, I've just got this bag started. If I come across things, I'm just going to go ahead and throw them in here. And same with this bag here. He's got some more goodies in there. And then this bag is the bag with the toiletry items. So I've got about 10 minutes till I start dinner. We're just going to do um, tortilla pizzas for the kids. And I don't know what I'm going to have. I'm not really super hungry. I may just have a sandwich and maybe make popcorn later. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tackle these clothes and these, you know, spare minutes that I have. So that once dinner is done, I can get the floor as swept and mopped as much as possible. Um, I would like to vacuum up the rugs, the kids will get their shoes put away, and we can just, you know, make the floor as clean as possible. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so that took me all of 10 minutes to do. This is a pile that I'm going to just go ahead and donate. So there's quite a few things here. Um, I'm not going to hang on to them. This is the pile that I'm going to keep. I am forever marveled at what they don't take. Like, just some really quality, like, name brand items that I'm going, seriously? Like, I just, I don't get it. But anyways, I'm going to hang on to these. So for dinner tonight, we are doing tortilla pizzas. So it's just um, a tortilla, some tomato sauce, um, mozzarella cheese, pineapple, and some deli ham. And I'm going to just throw these under the broiler for a couple minutes. 
to everything is nice and melted and ooey gooey. And that's dinner for tonight. So this is how dinner turned out. Um, the tortilla pizzas, um, some broccoli, and the cantaloupe that I cut up earlier for the kids. I have started myself a really big salad and I don't know if I'm going to eat anything else, but I'm having a big salad. So my kids are in the backyard. They're out playing with the dogs. So they're going to play outside for a little bit. Um, I'll probably call them in in the next 10, 15 minutes or so because um, they need to get really good baths because we have church tomorrow. I just finished up the dishes in the kitchen. I am going to get some laundry together so I can go throw that in the machine. I just want to get like the cycles like all completed. My, I realized that um, my husband, husband, husband had brought in like a bunch of laundry um, that had been in his car because uh, he hadn't fully unpacked from when he lived there before. Um, and I think a lot of it was clean, uh, but it just had been in a car for two months. So we're just refreshing all of that. Just work clothes and his um, towels. <laughs> so it's just added a lot of laundry on top of what I already had. And I usually keep up with the laundry really well, but um, I don't know what happened. I think I got derailed there. <laughs> Anyways, things are starting to really look up around here. I'm going to gather the laundry, get that going, and probably vacuum real quick, and give the kiddos a bath. So, sorry I'm not showing real good clips of me doing this throughout my day, like without a tripod or whatever. Um, it was just because it's easier to just kind of do it, and because I have so much work, I don't want to add just another step of, like hauling around a tripod all over my house every five minutes so anyways so it's almost eight o'clock and I thought I would give you a update about what the house looks like at this point so over in this area I still have the paperwork um, I just need my husband to help me go through all that um, I do have my camera still out on the counter my iPad and my water but everything is cleaned up all of the towels are going into the next load of laundry. I've got my diffuser out and even cleaned up the laundry room and got all the produce. Um, I need to put, this is the compost bucket. I need to put that away, but I'm, I'm not dealing with that right now. Um, and then here is what it looks like in the dining area. So I did go ahead and vacuum. This bag right here is the donations. This I'm going to take into Colt's room and stick it in a plastic tub in his closet. I'm going to do that um, as I'm putting him to bed. So nothing has changed too much right here. The bikes and everything are still right there and my husband's stuff to go. I swept the floor. I washed the chairs really well. Um, I got the water bottles all ready to go for him um, to take with him. And then this is his pile of stuff. And so coming down the hall, I got those clothes taken care of. In here, these are all the laundry, this is all the laundry that I have to fold tonight. Um, yes. I did leave my nail bucket still out um, because I'm going to really try and do my nails tonight. Got everything else tidied up in here. I ran the vacuum, put the coffee table back, and we're in pretty good shape here. I added another bag to the laundry pile and I've got one in the dryer, one in the washing machine and I will likely do one more wash before I am done. So. Like my headband holds my hair back when I wash my face. I'm going to call it quits here. My camera card is almost done. It's been a really good day. I'm going to go take a bath. You guys have a great night. See you in my next video. Bye.